Nasser Judah, who is the former Deputy Prime Minister of Jordan. Thanks so much for joining us here on TRT World's News Hour. Um, I want to ask you about a recent interview uh, with Der Spiegel last Friday. King Abdullah, he warned of massive conflict if Israel moves forward with plans to annex parts uh, of the occupied West Bank. Walk us through the consequences of this. Well, um, His Majesty was very clear uh, in his interview that he's not uh, taking preemptive uh, decisions. He's not uh, preempting facts on the ground. His Majesty is a realistic um, uh, person, but um, he was very, very clear in saying that this is an existential um, um, challenge that uh, not only Jordan but the rest of the world will be facing. Um, I, I think we all, um, from the interviews that you conduct, from the briefing that uh, Mr. Mladenov um, uh, presented to the Security Council, uh, from the statement that we saw from uh, the European uh, Union recently, the whole world um, consensually um, takes the position uh, that uh, Israeli settlements um, in the occupied countries are illegal, uh, annexing parts of the West Bank. Um, and the Jordan Valley and the northern areas of the Dead Sea will be in contravention to international law and will literally uh, kill the states of resuming negotiations on the basis um, of, um, kill the chance uh, of resuming negotiations on the uh, basis of the two-state uh, solution. So um, while His Majesty in the interview with Der Spiegel said, I'm not preempting, but should this happen, it will have severe consequences. And uh, if Israel does not backtrack, uh, what is Jordan prepared to do? Like I said, we'll uh, wait, wait for the facts um, uh, to materialize. Um, we're very, very clear. I don't think that the world can be clearer. Should Israel go ahead with uh, the illegal um, annexation of territories that are already illegally occupied, um, then it will have serious concerns. We'll have to review all our options and take the best course of action. Um, we said that, and at the same time, in the same breath, in the same sentence, uh, we said that we believe that the solution to the uh, Arab-Israeli conflict, at the core of which is the Palestinian-Israeli dimension, is direct negotiations on all issues, especially final status um, uh, issues, that will lead to the creation of an in independent, sovereign, territorially contiguous Palestinian state that lives side by side, not only with a secure Israel, but with a whole region that is uh, secure, so that we can unleash the potential of the vast majority of the people who happen to be youth. And... Um you know, how would a one-state solution affect uh, Jordan? Would we see an influx of, of refugees? Well, um, let, let me say two things. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, when we say that it is an existential uh, threat or challenge to Jordan, um, I think naturally what we mean is that a, we have um, the largest, we are the largest host of Palestinian refugees in the world. Secondly, we have the longest border. Uh, geographic border, physical border with Israel and with the Palestinian uh, state. Um, secondly, um, I, I think what you, what you have to um, um, uh, remember is, is that at the end of the day, we can all make excuses not to do something. Um, it's very, very rare to see uh, prudence um, in, in being forthcoming to do something. Um, the Palestinian um, problem is at the core of instability in, uh, not only in our part of the world, but with global ramifications. Uh, so when you say one-state solution, the one-state reality is not a solution. Uh, it will mean that uh, there will be Israeli rule, uh, people who are under Israeli occupation, uh, different systems for different people, uh, essentially uh, discrimination that uh, is tantamount to uh, apartheid. Uh, and this is something that we want to avoid. We'll have to leave it there. Uh, Nasser Judah, former Deputy Prime Minister of Jordan, it's been a, a pleasure to have you on TRT World's News Hour.